Yes. Okay. All right. Thanks so much. For, all right. So we're going to hear from Sarah. Now. Thanks, everybody. Um, I really want to thank Food Funded for uh, supporting our, our emergency fund. And I just want to give you a little bit of background about the fund, what's going on with colors, uh, and, uh, and, and the future of our of our industry. So, so some of you may or may not know, my name is Saru. I founded the Restaurant Opportunity Center uh, and lead One Fair Wage. Uh, we've been fighting to raise wages and working conditions in the restaurant industry for the last 20 years. Um, with COVID-19, over 10 million food service workers across the country have lost their jobs, 1.1 million in the state of California alone. And uh, it is uh, devastating times for our industry certainly for many of the small businesses, but even more so for the extremely low wage workers that work in our industry. They are the lowest wage workers in America. And our estimate that it is that about 60% of them are ineligible for unemployment insurance. And that is a combination of immigration issues, but also in the case of many of them, uh, their wages are actually too low to qualify for unemployment insurance. It's a it has revealed the problems and inequities in our system. The fact that you've got the largest and fastest growing industry in California and the United States uh, that does not have the means to survive before the crisis and now does not have the means to survive during the crisis. And so with the fund, the OFW emergency fund, we've raised $13 million, um, but it is, uh, there are 155,000 applicants for relief. Um, and so we are so appreciative of Food Funded for supporting that. It also points to why Colors, the project that I came to about last year, is so critical. If you'll recall, uh, we are a nonprofit that worked with uh, a celebrity chef, Daniel Patterson, to open a restaurant called Colors um, in Oakland. We bought a building together with the Ella Baker Center for Human Rights, which works to end mass incarceration. We opened a restaurant that is all about increasing equity and mobility in the industry to allow the very workers of color who've been most hurt by this crisis to be able to advance to living wage jobs, to have the experience to advance to living wage jobs while providing an amazing, wonderful, upscale environment, food um, from a very diverse perspective so that you actually see all kinds of workers both serving you and eating alongside you. That is the community we've been trying to create. The good news I wanted to share is that since last year, um, uh, St Stefan and Aisha Curry invested $250,000 in our business. And so we only have $250,000 or so to go. Um, we have a WeFunder campaign as well that perhaps Maricela or Arno could share in the chat because I'm sorry, I, I, I have to go. But um, I really want to appreciate Food Funded for the partnership, both in supporting the fund and the millions of workers in California and across the country that are struggling right now. And then with regard to colors, that is about the structural change that we need um, that can be a very profitable venture, but also creating the structural change that we need in terms of mobility for workers of color so that we can avoid the situation that we're seeing right now where millions of people of color and immigrants have been locked out of the system and unable to survive. We can create a better future post-crisis. Thanks. Thank you so much, Saru, for jumping in and joining us on this. Really appreciate your message. Um, being, you know, myself a food worker and having gotten to the point where I now have a living wage job, um, just so much appreciate and value the work that you're doing. Um, and I think everyone, you know, here on this call can really hear, understand, and and see just how critical it is to support. So thank you for joining us.